What's going on guys, it's Rob from Heroes Avenue and in this video I'm going to be talking about the latest on The Flash and what special character might be cameoing in the movie at some point and you might have seen him in the thumbnail so take a wild guess on who that is. <laughs> but I'm also going to end this video on talking about a cool event or a cool little thing that happened on Twitter today uh, and it's really hitting on the latest on the fan discourse and the fan division in the DC world so stick with me for that. If you haven't checked out my video on the Batman TV spot check that out after this but before we get started please do like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let's get started with topic number one right here and it is The Flash. Now I gotta say uh, there is a Twitter user, uh, my time to shine hello on Twitter. He's been dropping a whole bunch of information and supposedly he's, he has some, uh, insider information. So take this with a grain of salt, but supposedly, supposedly there is going to be a ta uh, a flash test screening on Wednesday. So, uh, that is actually really big news because, there has been a bunch of people kind of talking about how this movie's terrible, what kind of terrible writing it is and all that, and talking all sorts of crap about it. And I can totally understand the frustration from fans in regards to all these uh, updates and moving forward from the Snyderverse uh, universe that you already set up uh, into this Flash movie. But all I have to say is that it's hard to make these judgments on a movie that you haven't seen. So first, uh, I could understand the frustration, but we also have to see the movie. So I think one Twitter user right here uh, on uh, confirmed this, but also uh, kind of weighed in and summarized this in a really cool gift. So uh, Brooklyn Batman right here posts the flash test screening on Wednesday. This is going to be fun. And of course, you can see you can see just absolute chaos, uh, madness holding this burning book or whatever he has in his hand, a burning pile of crap. I don't know what it is. Um, uh, comment below if you know where this is from. Anyways, I think it encapsulates just the feeling of fans on both sides of the aisle at this point. Even if you're looking forward to The Flash, you already know that the Twitter discourse is going to be absolutely insane. And um, I'm really curious as to how it's going to be received. Um, I'm really hoping that, uh, you know, I, it's hard to hope because there's so many rumors in terms of what they're doing with this movie and you know me I'm a big fan of the Snyderverse so uh, how they're going to treat all of that stuff is definitely going to be really important and uh, it's going to be hard they have a lot of work to do in terms of many relationships with the fans but uh, one big thing that I think people would get excited for is that new character the special character Green Lantern right here now this art I'll have to post the artist of this art right here it's pretty cool but I did a video like, man, two years ago, three years ago, on a rumor that DC wanted uh, Tom Cruise for a, for a Hal Jordan in a buddy cop movie for the Green Lantern Corps. And apparently that rumor is still true. They still want a big A-list character to play an older Hal Jordan. Uh, and Tom Cruise, I think, if I remember correctly, I was excited for that news. And right now that sounds actually pretty awesome. I think he wrapped filming the, the new Mission Impossible movies, but the guy just doesn't age. He's like Jared Leto. Dude doesn't age. He looks great. And if they're really looking for a mentor type figure for uh, a uh, John Stewart, I think Tom Cruise is great. He's actually great in comedy too. So if they want to go with a little bit more of a lighthearted nature uh, for Hal Jordan, which actually has to be, you know, the character Hal Jordan, uh, Tom Cruise can play both of those things. I know he's been in more serious roles as of late, but... The dude can be funny as well. So I'd be hyped to see Tom Cruise. You know, it sucks that we're probably not going to get Wayne T. Carr ever get to uh, uh, play that role again of, of, of Jon Stewart like Zack Snyder was going to have. That would be awesome if they did do that. But I don't know, man. DC is definitely doing their own thing. But check it out. Here's what they said right here. So there's that rumor that Green Lantern Corpse is going to be at the end credit scene for The Flash. So it's going to tease this. Um, oh wait, let's let's see the translation actually. Uh, will be a teaser for the Green Lantern series, and then I swear I saw another one. Here we go. My time to shine. Hello. Oh, actually, this is a different rumor. Never mind. So scratch that. Tom Cruise will not be uh, appearing in the movie. They still want Tom Cruise, but um, but the the end credit scene will actually be uh of for the Green Lantern Corps series, which is gonna. I think it's going to have Jessica Cruz in there. It's going to have Alan Scott, and it's also going to have Guy Gardner. So um, we'll get our first look at that. I don't know if that's the most exciting thing to see. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't want to watch it, but 
I think we want to see things in the realm of the movies. Now, I know DC probably wants to move in the realm of putting all of these things together for a potential movie crisis event, you know, bringing all the TV show characters into the movie universe and all that. But right now, I do think they're setting it up maybe not in the best way. feels like they're just throwing at stuff at the wall in hopes that they stick later on. But, um, you know, that leads me into the third topic for today. Third topic for today has to do with the fan discourse revolving the Snyderverse and everything. Uh, because um, I was on Twitter and Twitter has this new feature where people can interact and actually talk to each other. These Twitter users, you can talk to these people who, you know, you actually don't even see their face on their avatar, including our Twitter account. You just see our logo. Uh, but it's pretty cool because things can get real divisive real quick on Twitter. You could be arguing with someone and take everything with the most malicious intent. But really, people are just trying to voice their opinion and they have strong opinions on Twitter. And it was really cool today because if you go on to Twitter, uh, you could have joined in on the conversation. And the conversation topic of today happened to be on uh, on James Gunn responding to uh, Geralt of Snyderverse. You guys may know him on Twitter. I used to actually really support the guy, but... Um, I do find a lot of things hypocritical in terms of the stuff he posts and his opinions. So I unfollowed him and it wasn't a big deal. I unfollowed him. I'm tired of seeing that stuff, uh, leaving the toxicity behind in this new year. But uh, I didn't make a big deal out of it. But he went and made a big deal on unfollowing James Gunn and James Gunn definitely responded to it. Uh, and that was the real reason that all these people got together to use this new Twitter feature and talk amongst themselves. And it was really cool because people who were on both sides got to actually talk to each other. And that's one thing that sometimes I think we're missing, actual conversation. Um, because things are getting real nasty out there in terms of fans. Now, you could be with me or against me in terms of wanting the Snyderverse restored. How to go about that, we may have different opinions as well. Whether or not it'll actually happen, we may have different opinions. But at, but at the end of the day, you know, I wouldn't say something to you that I wouldn't say to you. I wouldn't say anything to you online that I wouldn't say to you in person. And I think some people kind of lose track of that type of respect and, um, uh, you know, I guess you could say uh, decency. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's, you know, that's all I got to say. I think things have just gotten a little way too out of hand, even in the comments section. You know, I don't care if you disagree with me. Uh, but definitely let me know your opinion because I want to know it and I'd like to have that conversation. That's the, one of the coolest parts about, you know, um, being being a fan of these this property and everything. Um, we could disagree on stuff, but, you know, at the end of the day, we're all fans here. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about today's topics, the Flash uh, test screening. Let me know how you think that's going to go and what you think about Tom Cruise as Green Lantern. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next video. Please subscribe, like the video, uh, and I'll see you next time. Peace.